friends, we've been talking recently with our team here at Revive Israel about the idea of faith uh, in the Bible. And I thought we'd have a, a series of some short little thoughts on that about the word faith from the book of Hebrews. We're looking particularly at the book of Hebrews chapter 11, which happens to be the number one chapter in the Bible that has the word faith more than any other time. The word faith in Greek is pistis, which I don't know what that means other than the word pistis. But in Hebrew it means it's from the word emunah, which we have a lot of words from that root. Amen, of course, when you say you agree in faith, you establish it. Leha means to believe, emona is faith, it also means integrity, it means stability. Ne'emanut is faithfulness, mehemanut is trustworthiness, so it's, it's a big word in the Hebrew. It almost means all the qualities of strength of heart that God wants to have, have in you. So listen, let's start, let's go through this. We have it 24 times in uh, Hebrews chapter 11. We're just gonna take a few of them uh, right now. But let's uh, start in uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse one and three. It says, I'll read it in the, in the Hebrew version and then uh, translate it. <laughs> Okay, let's go over that. It means faith is the, oh, here's a tough word to get. In, uh, in English, it's called substance. Uh, in, the he, in the Greek, it's hypostatis. Hypo is under, like sub. Statis is stand, like stance, substance. Under, it could be infrastructure, foundation. It is the foundation. In this Hebrew version, it's nice. It's the confidence of the reality of what's out there in the spiritual world. He says, of the things that you hope for, which are the things unseen. Okay, let's try to get this real quick. We have things that are unseen, and we have things that are seen. We live in the seen world, uh, the physical world. The things in the spiritual world are unseen. But the view of the Bible is that the things in the unseen world are stronger, more substantial than the things in the physical world. The, the physical world was made out of the things in the spiritual world. It's not that God made things out of nothing. He made it out of the, the seen things, out of the unseen things. He spoke them into being. And so the, 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 our faith is the substance, the assurance that those things really are there. Now, it's, I was likening this to like two uh, pools, a pool full of water and a pool empty. The pool full of water is like the world of the spirit. That's where the things really are. And by faith, we draw them into this empty pool. We draw that, that water into this pool to be with us. And so we have the, but your assurance that those things are really there, the things from the, we live in the seen world, the assurance, the infrastructure, the substance that that's really there allows us to, it's there in the spirit. We can see it there, not with the physical eyes. We hope for it, we believe in a vision. And when we're sure of it, we have faith, and then we can have that affect the things uh, in the world here today. So part of our faith is to influence this world around us because of the assurance of the things we have in the unseen world. Just as God made the world from the unseen things into the seen world, so do we today in this world as children of God, we influence this world by our faith in what is in the in the unseen world from the unseen world to the seen world that is our faith and we'll keep learning about this uh in the next section <laughs> 